and welcome to Counselor's Corner. I'm Miss Nolan and I'm sitting in a corner. Okay, so we're talking about coping skills. Remember, coping skills are things you do when you have strong emotions and it's how you handle those emotions, like what you're doing to deal with those emotions. But that's what you do. And a lot of times, the coping skills that you develop as a kid don't always work as well when you're a teenager or an adult. When you're a little kid and you want something and you can't have it, you get frustrated and with that strong emotion, you might throw a tantrum, you might start screaming and yelling and hitting things. It's okay to do that as a kid, but once you are a teenager or an adult, I, I, you still can throw a tantrum when you're a teenager or an adult, but hopefully you realize that throwing a tantrum is not the best way of coping with frustration. So as a teenager or an adult, there's other things you can do when you're frustrated. So you're frustrated because you want something, you can't have it. You talk to your friend about that and then you start problem solving. That would be an example of a positive way of coping um, with your frustrated feelings. So I want you to think today, how do I cope? When I'm really angry, what do I usually do? When I'm really sad, what patterns do I follow? Do I like these patterns? Are they helpful to me? Or is there something I could do or some, some way I could change the way I'm behaving that could help me um, feel better? All it takes is a little bit of awareness. When you're a kid, it's hard to have awareness, but now that you guys are teenagers, you can start thinking and you can start making choices that will help you succeed and live a better, more enjoyable life. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you next time.